Hello everybody, Aquagear here, and welcome back to another episode of Aqua's Adventure. Um, well today we are back on the single player world, and I have a couple plans for today. First, is um, what I'm not going to get on camera is I'm going to go mining a little bit, and I've got my pickaxe that I enchanted like, a couple episodes ago. And I'm going to go looking for some redstone and some coal, because coal I've run out of, and redstone I have like 23 pieces left, so I really need to get more of that. But... One thing I do want to get done today, and I might add even more if that doesn't take a while, but I want to go out and look for a better place to live. Because this house, well, remember, this was a te temporary house. We won't be living here. And the first part of the house that I want to get done today is I just want to build the door. I've been playing around on creative, just building a door. And it's not the most, like, it's not the best door. It's pretty big, but... I designed it myself, I didn't get help from anyone, and, I don't know, I just feel like using my own design is the best way to go, but, yeah, so, at this moment, on our to-do list is, go mining, find, maybe, like, a cool place to live, maybe find a cool environment, and build a door, so, real quick, I'm gonna do some mining, and I'll cut back in when I'm done, so, I'll see you guys in a second, yay, redstone, more redstone, I found myself some lapis. Well, guys, um, remember how I just said I found lapis right here? Well, <laughs> I walked over here, I looked up, and guess what I found? Diamonds. So, I'm going to actually collect these on camera. Oh, there's a lot of diamonds here. What a perfect square, too. That's awesome. So, we got eight. And, yeah, just a quick look. I've got six iron. I've got maybe a stack and three-fourths of redstone. Maybe almost two stacks of coal, eight diamonds, and maybe a half a stack of lapis. So, uh, I'm gonna get back to mining. Well, everybody, um, I've been digging. I just kind of made um, a strip mine, and I've hit a cave, and I've had a little run through, uh, run through through it with torches, so you guys could see. But I wanted to go on a little mining trip with you. So, right off the bat, we have some redstone over here and some gold, which gold is gonna come useful later for other projects that I might think of that include rails or whatever but we also have some coal here that we should collect because we're gonna need a lot of coal I mean at this moment I don't need a lot of coal but I know in some future project we're gonna be using a lot of stone and stuff and I'm gonna be needing that I'll grab this iron oh and more redstone cool all right I'll gladly take that and I saw some other good stuff up ahead that we'll get to eventually but Really, what I came mining for is a little bit of redstone, because I wanted to start the new project today. Yeah, but first, let's just get all this stuff. And of course, I'm not going to be mining long. I just wanted to get the stuff that I saw. There's some lapis over here that I saw that's awesome. And I know I saw some lapis over here. And I saw a big... Yeah, I need to collect this, but I want to collect a stupid bat. Get out of here. I didn't torch up down here, did I? Well, it's a dead end anyway, but let's grab what's here. I don't want to leave it behind. Because usually when I go mining somewhere, I don't come back to that place. Because I'd just be wasting my time running around through caves that I've already explored and taken everything from. So, usually if I mine somewhere, I take everything because I won't be coming back anytime soon. And this is right under my house, so... Yeah. I won't be probably coming back here at all, so I'm just going to grab everything I can. Start it. Alright, there we go. Mm, let's check down here. I don't know if I saw... Well, we did collect this, yes. Yeah, so let's do this for sure. Oh, and I've got 25 levels. Cool. I'll be able to enchant something really nice when I get back. If I don't die. <laughs> Ooh, more redstone. Okay. There's no lava. Yeah, there's lava. Well, I'll just grab what I can. Let's run through here. Um, please be something good. There's nothing good. That's just fine. Uh, I see some... Alright. Water bucket time. There we go. Let's take a look around. I saw some gold. Might as well get rid of this now. Let's 
just grab this redstone. Anyway, guys, uh, yep, I didn't want to take too long on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep mining. And if I find anything like lapis, redstone, gold, or diamonds, I'm going to cut back. Like stuff like coal, I'll just collect. But if I find anything super interesting, whoa, I almost fell that. Anyway, if I find something super interesting, I'll cut back in. So I'll see you guys in a second. More lapis. Well, guys, welcome back. And I've just done my <laughs> like mining trip and sorry about that my nose um i'm just gonna show you guys what i've gotten so oh and by the way on the way back i collected i collected some things like i found a whole patch of uh pigs so i collected some pork chops i found some cows so i got their leather and uh beef i found a pumpkin do we already have oh we already have pumpkins oh that was a waste i thought we didn't have pumpkins but anyway yep so what i got is let me sort it all out. Let me put all the stone in here. That'll leave kind of the rest. Let me put where's our food? All right, right here. Let's put our let's put this stuff back. Let's put everything else that's not an ore back. Let's put the torches in here. Put all the tools in here. Actually, I won't put the tools back. So let's see. Let's organize everything a little bit. Let's put all the that down there. Okay, so it's coming together now. All right, so this and remember, guys, I didn't go mining for long. I went mining for maybe half an hour, not even. So it's a pretty good loot for a, a half an hour of digging. What I'm gonna do is I'm let's fill that this up, fill that up. Let's stick our coal in there. Fill this one up, stick the rest of that in there. Fill this one up, let's stick that in there. And then our ores. Yeah, we just still got quite a few things. Let's just stick everything in there. So, yep. The next, oh, and I got 28 levels. So, we're almost close to enchanting another diamond tool. So, real quick. Um, where's our furniture? Let's take this. Let's stick it up on the wall. This that's gonna be our next diamond tool that like our first diamond something that we enchant. How don't you get out? Or you're gonna die. So alright, but anyway. Um I think what we're gonna do next is I it's kind of bad because it's gonna take a long time, but I wanna get out of this house. And the problem is the biomes around us are huge. Like we're surrounded by um root forest for a couple hundred blocks so that's kind of a problem but what I want to do is I want to scour out a new place to live maybe a different biome that is better <laughs> so guys what I'm going to do is I don't want to bore you guys on camera just walking around so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out and I'll meet you guys back when I'm sort of far away I'm just going to kind of walk in a straight line and find myself somewhere so I'll see you guys there. Well, welcome back, everybody. Sorry, my nose again. Um, anyway, like I said, I've been running around, and what I did is I kind of pulled a Hansel and Gretel type thing. I put down torches everything everywhere I went. So to get back to my house, I just have to follow this line of torches, because if I get lost, I'll be screwed. But what I actually found is a village, and I think this might be a permanent spot to settle, because... This is the perfect location. We have extreme hills right there. I know we have a flower forest right over there. We have a plains right here. And we have a normal forest down there with birch and oak. And then the surrounding areas aren't annoying like where we settled before. And we have chickens around here. We have pigs. So we can uh, redo our population and all that. So I think this might be a perfect place. Plus, it's a village. Why wouldn't you want to live by a village? I actually haven't checked if... If the villagers are here, why is that door missing? Have I been here already? No, I couldn't have been here because I would have taken the crops. No, I guess I don't know why that door was missing. That's really weird. Anyway, it seems like everything's intact around the village. So, yep, we are probably going to settle here. But, yeah, so... Real quick, actually no, I was going to write down the chords, but I'll probably do that off camera. But yeah, again, 
this is probably going to be our permanent location. Where I want to start building, I'm not sure. You know, I, I'm thinking right over here would be a good spot. But we could also go maybe a little bit further back. I mean, we don't have to stay right next to the village. And the thing is, once we start building, I'm going to start building big. Well, it's a hole right there. So, Oh, sorry about that. Um, so I'm going to want a lot of room. And this just might be the perfect place right over here. Yeah, so I think this might be the place right here. Because there's... Whoa, it's a big plain. Yep, and then we're surrounded by spruce forest, which is good. Because then we'll have spruce wood. More pigs. I love extreme hills. It's probably the most epic biome ever. But yep. I think the beginning of the build will be right about here. So let's just make a line of torches. Yeah, I'm almost out of torches now, but we've made it just far enough to the village. Let's just make a line of torches. Yeah, and I did use a lot of my coal to make these torches, but oh well. Better than getting lost. I mean, I could have made them out of fences and stuff like that, but that was too expensive. I think the torch is the easiest way, and if you're in the middle of the night, it's the easiest because it'll light up everything. Just light up a huge line. But, guys, um, real quick, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back home. Ooh, almost just enough torches. Cool. I'm going to head back home, grab what I need to do today's project, and I'll meet you guys back here. What is up, guys? Well, I'm back at my house, and yep, I put all my stuff away. Okay, hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Uh, well, guys, sorry about that. I had to cut out quick because I forgot that I was actually in game mode one. Because I was actually trying to find out how to get to my house. Because on the way back, like I said, I actually put torches down, but I actually kind of lost my way. And I was in game mode 1, and plus I wanted to find out, since this is kind of a long way, I wrote down the coordinates. Let me check the coordinates. It's X750 and Z623, so yeah, from my house, I didn't know which way to go, so I just went in game mode 1 real quick just to find out. Don't worry, guys, I wasn't cheating. I mean, you guys saw me mining, so <laughs> if I was a cheater, I wouldn't be going mining, right? But anyway, yeah. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pack up some of my things, like all this redstone, all this diamond. What I'm going to do is, since I'm going to be moving over there, I'm going to be taking all my stuff with me. Uh, so I'm just going to take all the valuable stuff, grab a chest, and move over there. But And one thing you guys might ask about, but like, what about the mob farm? Um, what about these farms that I have over here? What about the nether? Um... Well, again, I, I never said we're going to stay here. This is just kind of a temporary thing. And the mob farm wasn't really that hard to build. I built it in one episode. So if we really, really wanted to, I could just off-camera rebuild it at the other place. Or, I mean, really, we could just travel back here anytime and use it all over again. So I don't think it's a big deal. But again, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all my stuff. Like, one thing that I want to do is let me grab all this. All this redstone, make it a new block. So right now it takes up like maybe seven slots of inventory. If we make it into blocks, it will just be darn it. See, instead of taking seven inventory slots, now let me get all this finished. Now it only takes up one, and we have 40 blocks of redstone. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to transfer most of the things. And of course, let me get my pick. Where is it? Uh, Alright, right here. Stuff like this enchanting table, of course, I'm going to take with me. I'm going to take this anvil. I'm going to chop down these uh, bookshelves, take the books, grab some wood. And I'm going to start moving stuff over there. So, I'll see you guys in a second. Well, guys, welcome back. Um... Well, the village is right over there, and I've just kind of set up. Of course, I took my enchanting table, my anvil. I brought two chests over with some of the important stuff like wood, sugar cane, all my ores. I made those into blocks. 
One thing that I actually forgot was that I said I would bring is the books for the enchanting table I forgot to bring. Which is kind of a stupid mistake, but oh well. This chest has nothing in it. But, what I actually want to do is, um, let's make, I want to make myself a shovel. Let's make, our, let's make me a shovel. I want to start maybe clearing out some of the, what's it called, Gra uh, grass, yeah, grass, out of here, so we can start building the first part of the house, which I don't think we'll need to clear too much of. And, yeah, I brought some things over to make the door. And there's still a lot of stuff back, but I can bring all that stuff back over. But I just love this place. I mean, we have extreme hills, flower biome, a village. And, honestly, plains is awesome. There's only one bad thing about the plains is that there's so much grass everywhere that you actually have to go around and just clear out the grass like this. But what I'm probably going to do is I'm just going to take a water bucket and just go around just getting rid of everything. But... That's not a big deal. Let's shove everything in here. So guys, uh, let's sleep real quick. So we can get the night over with. And yeah, I'm wearing... Actually, I'm wearing the chain armor I got from the skeletons uh, back at the map farm. So uh, let's actually start building the first part of our door. Let's break some of these up. Oh, and I forgot one thing. Hmm. This actually isn't good. I need some slime for sticky pistons. Wow, um, I actually didn't think about this. I still need the slime for the sticky pistons. Oh, wow, this is kind of bad. I didn't think about this. You know what, guys? Um, I'll be right back. I'm going to go in search of a swamp biome because this entire thing doesn't work without slime balls. So I'll see you guys in a second. Well, guys, yep, about the slime ball thing, well, I remember in a couple of episodes ago, we found this witch hut over here, and I remembered that the witch hut was in a swamp. This is actually right uh, behind our old house. So, yep, um, I just brought a sword with me, a so little bit of food, and I'm just going to have to stick here until I find some slime balls. I don't know how long this is going to take, hopefully not long. I think I might have to wait until night just kind of sad I'm actually wondering if I have any slime balls at my house I actually didn't check Cause since I know I've been here before maybe did I get some then I have no idea but anyway guys I don't want to stick here too long I still got to build the first part of the house and it's been like 17 minutes already so guys what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna get the slime balls and I'm gonna meet you guys back at the plane alright guys well um, while I cut out, I actually did a couple of things. First, I'm just explaining you some of the things I did. I got some more cobblestone from my base so we can make some pistons. I got 23 slime balls. And I think that's all we're going to need for the door. I mean, of course, we're going to need redstone, but we have all that. And started clearing some of this land. Of course, it's not even grown in yet, so I actually just did that. Still have my armor on. But anyway, let's actually make some pistons now. I want to start... Um, I want to start work on my, on the door. Can we just go to sleep yet? No. Well, let's just make this. I actually forgot how to do it. Is it cobblestone on top? Alright, hold on. I forgot, is it cobblestone on top? Or is the wood on top? Pretty sure it's like this. I forgot, what's in the middle here? Oh, it's iron. Grab some of the iron that I have. Oh, I forgot I left all my smelting iron back at my base. I should grab that. Alright, well, let's... Which one is it? Alright, I think it's the other way around. It's wood on top, cobble on bottom. Yep, there we go. Let's make four because we don't need a lot. Now let's make them one, two, three, four. Let's make them into sticky pistons. And let's go to bed. So no mobs come at us and stuff. And I think the beginning. All right, yeah. I, let's just clear out a little bit more. The beginning of the door. Don't actually get my dirt out. 
Um, okay. Let's see. The beginning of the door will be right here. So, like that. And then one, one, two, one, and then right here. Nope. Not there. I'll actually try to build this entire thing with you guys. Let's get some white stained clay that I got from my house. Put that there. Put that there. There we go. And this project is a little bit messy, but I don't think we'll be going underground. Alright, well, let's grab some redstone. Where did I put that? Okay. We also need a redstone torch, too. Hopefully, I don't screw up on camera too many times. I've built this a couple times. Not a whole lot, though. Alright, so let's do that. That. And of course, this is gonna look pretty ugly, but I'll fix it all up on, like, off camera and all that. Let's do that. Let's do that. And then below this, there we go. We're gonna need to do that. No, stop it. Alright. Now let's go down. Okay, we're gonna need to go down from here. So let's grab. It. Let's go to the other side. Pluck that one out. All right, where does this go? It's right there. Yeah, I'm just gonna remove this for now. I don't think I need the hole right there. I know we're gonna have to connect to these two. Uh, I mean, I did something wrong here. Is this supposed to be? No, it can't be. Yeah, no, that can't be right. Oh, I think I know. Here, let me grab. Do I have any wood with me? Er, yeah, I do. Okay. Gotta make some slabs. Yep, and it goes over. There we go. And now, so we need to move this nope we need to replace that with redstone and let's put a torch over here so everything will open all right there we go and then from here let's let's see do we have a lot of wood or do we not have any <laughs> should have grabbed more wood anyway i'll just get the first part of this done I'll bring it out through here. Remove this. Okay. Let's put this part in place. This part in place. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be decorating it today, but I definitely want to build it today. Let's move some of this dirt, and I'll remove some of this dirt off camera too. It's not like I'm just gonna leave it like this. Let's do that, and then we need two buttons. I'm guessing. So if that one needs to be hooked up to there, I think we'll put a button right there. Can we do that? Wait a minute. That one needs to be hooked up right here. That needs to go under. That and this needs to be hooked up to the torch. Why am I using my hand? Let's use the shovel. If I could find the torch. Alright, it's right here. Let's move all this stuff. And let's bring it this down to the torch. There we go. No, 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 that's wrong, that's wrong, that's wrong. Down like that, there we go. So that's one set, so if we press the button, come on, alright, if we press the button, it'll open like that. So that's one part done. Now we just need to do this other side. This side is the trickier side, because we're going to need to go down a little bit. Let's bring this out one more. No, I think we'll need it. Over here. Where's the button go? Alright. Yeah, see, this is where the tricky part comes in. I know I've done this a million times, but it always confuses me. Let's see. 
remove this. Um, yep, that activates it. Why, why do I keep using my hand? Crap, I had to move the torch for some reason. So we need this to hook up to there. Well, that works, but the only problem is that this is going to be shown. But what we can do is, and we can cover this back up. What we can do is put carpet over it, but I don't want to do that. Here, let me see if I can do that. Okay, oops. Like that. See, but now this part doesn't work. Uh, it's a little bit confusing. <clears throat> Alright, well, you know what? We can cover up this part, right? And this part we can't, but we can do is we can just put that there. And then, of course, we can just act like it's supposed to be there. Just do that. And then we'll decorate everything. But the actual door works. We can run through. So the door opens and closes. And then, of course, I'll build a wall, like a building here. I'll try to decorate all this. And yeah, guys, well, we've got the first part of the door, and of course the building is going to be back there. And that's going to be our final, probably final building, but once we get later, later episodes, we're going to be moving, doing fun stuff, and having a great old time. So guys, but anyway, thank you for watching, this has been Aquagear, make sure to leave a like and a comment as it supports my channel, and God bless, and goodbye.